This is question 16 of the 2013 KCPE maths paper. It says, On a certain day a shopkeeper sold 6 rulers, 15 rubbers, 24 pencils and 9 exercise books. If these items were to be represented in a pie chart, what angle would represent the number of exercise books? So, um, as you know a pie chart is a circle that looks something like this. Sorry, this isn't a very good circle and um uh we're like and we take so say um uh we have we're representing a third here in the pie chart so we have a third so that would be a third of 360 degrees um the total number of degrees around here in this pie chart so a third and a third of 360 is 120 so a third in the pie chart would be one 120 degrees so we're asked what fraction exercise books of which nine are um, nine are sold? Um, what fraction that represents in this pie chart? So, uh, in order to do that, we need to be able to represent uh, all these quantities: the the six, the fifteen, the twenty four, and the nine as fractions. And in order to do that, we need to work out the total number of items that were sold. So we need to sum all these together. So six plus 15 plus 24 uh, plus 9 okay so um 6 times so 6 plus sorry 6 plus 24 is 30 add um 15 plus 9 that is uh what is that 24 and 24 plus 30 is 54 so the total of 54 um items are sold on that day of which 6 are rulers let's represent rulers by r so we have um 6 54 are rulers um let's represent rulers even by rl since we have two starting with r um rulers and rubbers um rubbers can be rb and of those there are 15 so 15 out of 54 um for the pencils we have uh 24 sorry this isn't a very good look good five let me redraw that five um for the, sorry, for the pencils we have 24 over 54, though that's a fraction of items that are pencils which are sold. And for the exercise books we have 9 over 54. Okay, so we need to work out, um, we need to be able to convert 9 over 54 into a um into a fraction which is over um 360 so it will be something let's call that x over 360 um and in order to do that we are going to have to um we're going to have to work out so this is just the same as this is an equation and it could, and we can really think about this as solving for x um so we need to find a way of making sure that we only have, of isolating x, so we only have x on one side and everything else on the other side. So let's do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub out what we have here since we, and then I'm going to move uh, this equation up a bit, or redraw it even. So we have 9 over 54, which is the portion of um, items sold, which are... Uh, exercise books and we need to turn that into a fraction over 360. Um, um, since 360 are the number of angles represent like a full circle turn, full turn of a clock or a full, um, or, or in this case of the pie chart. So, um, right, so to do that let's times both sides by x so we have x so we have 360 times by sorry 300 and, let's rewrite that 360 times by 9 over 54 um we can simplify this 9 over 54 as well since we know that um since we know from our um nine times our nine times table even our six times tables that nine times by six is equal to 54 so that means that um, what we have here is um, the equivalent of 1 6 so x is equal to 360 
times by a sixth, which is the same as 360, divided by 6, which is equal to uh, 60. So um, the angle that the an our answer is 60 degrees, so 60 degrees of the pie chart would represent um, the number of exercise books. So our answer is C, 60 degrees.